sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. And welcome back, everybody. Now we're going to kind of go right into the heavy stuff right away. We had a slight risk for half of the Contro Valley for severe weather outlook today. That has increased for almost everybody as we continue getting through our afternoon hours. Now, most all of the Contro Valley is in an enhanced risk of severe weather. So we are going to continue to keep an eye on things as we continue through our afternoon. Now, we did have some sunshine coming in earlier today, and then the clouds have been kind of rolling in periodically and then kind of increasing as we go through the later after, or later morning hours and we are going to continue to see those clouds rolling in as we get later on today right now 86 degrees in san angelo humidity is still above 50 percent so it is going to add opportunity for that severe weather to be coming through winds have shifted now coming from the southeast at eight miles an hour and temperatures around the region here we got some 70s for Bellinger and Coleman, otherwise 80s for everywhere else. And we actually have upper 80s for the San Angelo area. Otherwise, everywhere else is looking at low to mid 80s at this time. And like I said, those humidity levels are a bit higher. Now, it may seem slightly uh, more dry should seem more dry for this area with those higher temperatures, but the dew point is still in the 60s, so that's still going to add plenty of opportunity for showers and storms. You see all this area shaded in pink just to the east of us. Those are severe thunderstorm watches and the yellow boxes to the east as well. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings. They've been developing over the last couple of hours here. You can see it's just kind of just to the east of Coleman County and even a few spotty showers in Coleman and Runnels County showers have been developing like I said in the last couple of hours here so that's going to continue to go as we get through the rest of our day and now like I said kind of looking at this a little bit more in detail here those showers and storms continue building up moving to the east but it's building up to the west so we are looking at potential like I said sh uh, showers and thunderstorms especially if we get into the mid-afternoon hours and we could have good chance of hail as well as damaging winds coming from these particular system now our highs are not expected to be that much warmer than what we have already I mean we are going to see a possibility into the mid to upper 80s but like I said that severe weather outlook here it's got almost everybody covered in this orange which is the enhanced risk. So we are going to continue, like I said, to keep an eye on things. Spotty showers will continue to develop in the next couple of hours, and then that will increase moving to the east and southeastern direction. And then, as I said, it will continue to build up. But as we get into later this evening, we'll have more showers and storms. Here's our cold front that's going to be making its way through the area so that's going to decrease our temperatures for this memorial day weekend and then that's going to continue to make its way out of the contra valley overnight into tomorrow and then we'll be more in the clear as we get through the weekend and then we could see some spotty rain showers as we head into Sunday afternoon. Looking at the rest of our seven day forecast here, like I said, we'll have cooler temperatures sticking around as we head into next week, Monday and Tuesday, even down to the 70s heading into Tuesday with scattered showers across the region. And then a warming trend will be with us as we get into next Wednesday and Thursday, bringing us back to the low to mid 90s. You're watching KLST News at Noon. We'll be right back after this.